Yeah, especially with the powerful slam to finish things off. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. You know, the Lakers weren't quite as dominant as they were in 2010-11, but it wasn't because of how they played against the West. They, they really did a nice job against their conference rivals. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Robinson comes in for Chuck Hayes. And it's Salmons in for Tyreek Evans. Steve Nash checked in for the Lakers. Brooks kicks to Robinson. Back to Brooks. Jacks up a three. And that one's good. Brooks has got six. 32 and 16 was their end mark of the season against the West. The Lakers certainly showed they can play with every team that was a contender out there. And and, and they were tough, but it, it just at the end, it just did not come together. For them. Well, nonetheless, winning two out of every three games you play in conference action is a good recipe for finishing near the top of the standings. The Lakers would have loved to have been that number one seed, but they didn't get it. It wasn't because of how they played in the West. Coast. It was, I think, that they were the third seed in the uh, Western Conference, as mm -hmm. it turned out. Now let's go to Doris Burke. Doris? Kevin, it's hard to talk about Kobe Bryant without talking about his incredible devotion to the game. He said, actually, I enjoy the preparation more than the actual games because the journey is always more significant. And the practices where nobody's looking and that sort of stuff, that's always been more fun to me. The preparation has always been more enjoyable. And guys, that explains plenty. Yeah, it sure does, Doris. Thanks. Paul Gasol's checked in for Devin Ebex. Brooks kicks to Robinson. Gasol with the steal. Kobe dishes to Howard. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Howard. Ten points for Kobe Bryant. Seems to be getting better as this game goes on. Brooks the best to Salmons. That drops and it comes off an assist from Brooks. Brooks has got three assists in the game. You know, it was a tough season for John Salmons a year ago. Returning to Sacramento after a draft day trade, but his shooting really went sideways. This is a guy who three seasons ago averaged about 20 points a game. Be interesting to see if he can bounce back this late in his career. And the basket by Thornton. Thornton's got six. Lakers leading by six. Stolen by Brooks. And here we go with Brooks running it up the court. And the dunk by Robinson. And some instant offense coming for them after that steal. Yeah, that's terrific, beautiful transition basketball. No chance at all for the defense to get back and set up. And Salmons in the third year of a relatively big five-year deal. Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to justify that contract unless he elevates his play. Some were surprised that the Kings traded down in the 2011 draft for the privilege of being able to acquire him. Brooks dishes to Robinson. And there are the Kings with another bucket. I can imagine they're going to hear an earful about this next stop. I mean, that's three straight field goals given up right in the middle of the lane. Inexcusable. Well, defense starts at the rim. I mean, you want teams shooting the ball from the outside, and that's not happening. They're just giving up everything inside. Timeout called the Lakers. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Sacramento. They came out flat that night and could never really get it going. Not their best effort for sure, Clark. No, I agree with you. And I thought maybe they could find somebody to come off the bench and give them a spark, uh, but it didn't happen. Jimmer Ferdetti's checked in for the Kings. Isaiah Thomas comes in for Aaron Brooks. There's a whistle, and it goes on Isaiah Thomas. That'll be his second foul of the game. And now, guys, still early in the second quarter, and, and that's his second foul. Uh, I'd be anxious to see if they leave him in here. And Nash, here we go. Dishes it to Gasol. Another shot. And Nash with the lay-in. Nash has got nine. It seems like they're living off these second-chance opportunities. Yeah, they'd probably prefer to just make the initial shot. But if they keep getting these offensive rebounds, I don't think they're going to worry about it too much as long as they get the point. Outside, Kobe. Over for dead. Kobe misses. Can't get a much better look than that, though. Sure can't. Not one you'd expect him to miss there. And, of course, the Lakers shipped off Lamar Odom before last season started. 
and uh, just got a late first-round pick from Dallas in return. Not exactly uh, what you would expect in terms of uh, you know a player of Lamar Odom's caliber. You'd, you'd think they could have done better with that deal. There it is. It's Nash picking up the assist. That's 12 points for Kobe Bryant. This has all been about him this quarter. I mean, their lead is safe if he keeps up this kind of play. He's done a nice job, a great job, actually, of finding efficient shots here in the second. Shooting percentage always a function of the kinds of shots you get. And he's on a good roll after struggling a bit in the first. The Lakers ended up being fine with how they played, but really, as you said, it, it seems like they missed out on, on getting more in return. Yeah, the whole trade appeared to be sort of a panic move. I mean, they didn't play well early, but ultimately adjusted. And I think that trade definitely hurt them early last season. Here's Fredette. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And it's a four-point Kings lead. Well, every once in a while, he'll show us some pretty good moves around the hoop. And Nash, here we go. Here's Gasol. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. 19 points for Paul Gasol. You know, they're just getting hammered inside and really need to find a way to be tougher down there. they got to be physical. they got a man up in there. I agree. I mean, you look at the points they're giving up. Most of them seem to be coming inside the paint. It's a look. And again, it's Sacramento converting. 35 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Nash kicks to Kobe. This all setting the pick for Kobe. World Peace, the pass to Kobe. It's blocked. World Peace, good. Another second chance bucket. I mean, that's like taking candy from a baby. Yeah, no excuses, Clark. I mean, at some point, you're going to have to get focused and have all five defenders boxing out. Outside Thomas. Over Nash. And he knocks it down. Ooh, wee, Kevin. That was a big shot to extend their lead. And send them into halftime with momentum. And we're through two here and a good one. Kings lead by four. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And back to the action again. Everyone excited to be playing for a fresh new year. Gasol doing all sorts of things. 19 points and also a block shot. Seems like he's making everything he looks at. Automatic, guys. Just completely automatic at this point. Lakers trail by four. Taking a look at the Lakers. Kobe and Matt at the wings with the big pow Gasol at the four. Nash out there with Howard. Gasol dishes to Kobe. Goes up. Oh, 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 oh man, wow. what a play. So, Kevin, he never misses the chance to go up for a dunk. So, I'd advise guys to either get in position to take a charge or maybe just get out of the way. And, Steve, quite honestly, he is their muscle. I mean, the guy they rely on for some brute force when they need it is him. Finesse isn't the first word that comes to mind when you're talking about this guy. There's no way to deny it. Just overall, a rough season for the Kings last year. I mean, they struggled early, went through a coaching change. Never a good sign when you have to make it through the Western Conference. It's hard enough without those kind of distractions and speed bumps. The West can certainly take a lot out of a team. The Kings felt that sting last year against Western Conference opponents. They went 16-32. and 32. Steve, not an easy task. No, but for the Kings, you know, they did seem re-energized after the coaching change with Keith Smart taking over. A lot of young players. Uh, they've got to grow together. They've got to learn together. And it's going to be very interesting to see this team evolve uh, as the years go on. Brooks kicks to Thornton. On the pass to Thompson. The shot from the low post is good. Thompson's got his first basket. You gotta love the low post offense. That was beautiful. He dishes it to Kobe. Tries for the out. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> mm, wow, that was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. My word, my word. The one-man alley-oop. I haven't seen many of those. We need to come up with a name for that play, Kevin. Hey, I Give got it one. a shot. Yeah, okay. Just call it what it is, Clark. Spectacular. <laughs> Works for me. Oh. I like that. That's pretty well, well said, Kevin. Such an athletic, spectacular play. You're right. You know, with the Lakers, it's all about winning titles. Anything else is considered a disappointment. And they were tested early, though. And both free throws, good for Evans. 
go back to that matchup for the Lakers against Denver. Kobe's illness had the uh, stomach flu, our chest out with the suspension. Meta World Peace, you know, had gotten the late regular season suspension with the elbow to the side of the head of James Harden. Uh, Steve, they were certainly facing their struggles. Yeah, and it, it, those struggles caught up to them in the next round, Kevin, when they uh, lost to the Oklahoma City Thunder, the younger, more talented team winning in that one. So for the Lakers, you know, moving forward, they've got a lot of talent, but it's aging talent. And sooner or later, they're going to have to get younger on that roster. Timeout called by the Kings. You know, there was a time before last season where the Kings didn't know where their home court would be, Kevin. And uh, Anaheim was bidding to become the new home of the Kings. Then the deal seemed all but done for a new arena here in Sacramento. That fell through. So it was seen they're right back where they started, square one. Yeah. Robinson's checked in for Sacramento. Isaiah Thomas comes in for Aaron Brooks. Right now, let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see the teams that really knew how to clog the passing lanes last season. Fifth best, the Kings. You could tell by watching them just how focused they were at the defensive end of the court. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Well, for the Kings, despite having a rough season, they were no pushovers at home, Steve. They, were, they protected their home court pretty well. Well, Sacramento has always been a tough place to play. I mean, this fan base, when the team is doing well, can get really crazy and rabid and fun. And I think they'd like to get back to that point, obviously. They're starting to amass some good young Oh, wow. Wow. how about oh. that basketball oh, man. fan? Beautiful. Wow. You let him get to the rim, and that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, you deserve that. Yeah, he's more than capable. You're right, Clark, of providing some great highlight reel material. Yes, sir. And for a point guard to finish like that, I mean, that is just special. Free throw good, Thomas. Lakers trail by six. Feeds to Gasol. And that is good. Gasol's got 21. They're rolling now. Five straight hoops to start this quarter. Thomas passes to Cousins. Back to Thomas. He passes to Thornton. Good ball movement here by the Kings. Here's Robinson. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Marcus Thornton, a natural scorer with deep range. Second round pick out of LSU. He has been instant offense in this league right from the beginning of his rookie season. Timeout called the Lakers. And Marcus Thornton at 6'4". A little undersized for that two-guard position. Yeah, and that may hold him back a little bit defensively, Kevin. But he's strong, and I think he's got the capability to be a solid defender. And we've seen him show that he's got tremendous potential as a scorer. He can really put the ball in the basket from deep or off the dribble getting to the lane. Here's Howard. Gets the bucket. Howard's got 15. Boy, this is the kind of shooting performance coaches dream of. It makes their job so much easier. An excellent start to this third quarter. Here's Evans. That's in there. Thomas with the assist. And that's 12 points for Tyreek Evans. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. Gasol kicks to world peace. And yes, sir, that one drops. And we have seen the intensity pick up big time here in the second half. Well, you can feel the desire from both teams that they really want to win this. Here's Thomas. And the shot is good. Thomas got five points now in the quarter. Lakers trailed by six. Nash kicks to Kobe. Good luck. Gets the bucket. I think he's done his part to try to keep him in this game. It's been a solid effort from him, guys. Back to Evans. Over World Peace. And Evans gets it to go on the assist by Thomas. 